people. Life is really, really right. challenging. And it doesn't matter if you're, you know, a teacher who's been in the game for 15 years and you're struggling, and it's really hard, or you're an 11 year old who's really trying to like struggle right. with executive functioning, but you couldn't spell executive functioning and you have no idea even what that is. Right. Or you're somebody who's dealing with, you know, hard physical challenges, you know, uh, limitations to your body, right. your family's in hard straits, whatever it is. I never want to blame anybody for being in a tough spot, but I deeply believe that one of the most important powers we have is the ability to reframe what we're going mm -hmm. through and say, you know what, there are some things I can do. And, you know, so the light I have, you know, and, and I try to share with people because like you, I think maybe this is a projection. I don't know if it is, George, but like when people call me out for being kind or positive, I'm like, listen, man, I got plenty of darkness. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not here to pretend that everything's, as you said, right. sunshine and rainbows in our right. podcast. What I'm trying to say here is there's sunshine and rainbows. There's also rainstorms and earthquakes, but you know what? Don't forget that there is actually sunshine, man. And there are actual rainbows right. and, and, right. And you can also make that sunshine and be those rainbows. And, and I don't just mean for other people, for yourself. So, I mean, th the message I have for people is I hear where you are. I respect it. And, you know, if you're tapping out or if you need to dip, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to judge you. But I also want to say, as I said at the top of this episode, um, you are in one of the most powerful positions in the history of the world as a teacher. Right. Right. No, you might not be well known. There's nobody walking around with like, you know, your name on the back of their jersey. There's not a poster of you, although there should be probably a poster right. of you holding a piece of chalk in somebody's room. But you are literally going to be talked about forever mm -hmm. by hundreds, if not thousands of people. And dude, that's just like that's something and feel that, you know, and and think mm -hmm. about what you can do with it. Yeah. You know, when you're when you're talking about this, you know, the 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 big catchphrase of toxic positivity and all that stuff. And you probably, mm. heard, I'm sure you've heard that quite a bit. Right. Uh, totally. And I, you know, I've been like, Oh, you're just like, I, I, I don't think I'm a overly positive person to be honest with you. I'm a very solution focused person. Like mm. I'm like, hey, this sucks. I get, but I got to figure it out. Right. And I don't swear usually, but yeah, I actually, that was my first swear, first swear. <laughs> let's go <laughs> so, anyways yeah like i i um i i i i know this is and i i think you said something that really connected with me if i don't try to figure out a solution if i don't try to find a way forward the the dark for me will get worse and yeah. i'll get and i can get in a really bad hole and like you know i've dealt with depression for years and stuff like that too and i think a lot of times i understand why people are like hey like you know, your positivity is not helping this stuff. Okay. Like then mute me, do whatever, but this is what I need to get through right now. This is what I need to kind of get through some of the stuff that I'm going through in that space. Mm. And, it, and like, uh, there's a really great quote from Mark and angel and I've shared it a million times. It's not like, and it's something paraphrased along the lines of like, it's not about ignoring the negative. It's about finding solutions. Mm.